So, Stephen, I knew you were going to ask, and I have my tennis shoes on, and I did make it to the ice. I'm not very far. I'll show you that later. But I actually, <laughs> though, want to get to the star of the show here. I have Coach Dan Watson with me this morning. Thank you for taking the time to join us this morning. And first off, let's highlight the success that the walleye have had here in just the last couple of games, but even the whole season. Yeah, you know what? Ever since January 1st, I think we've been on a little bit of a roll here, winning 11 in a row. Uh, there's a lot of excitement building uh, with this team, and it's the way they're playing. You know, they're, they're, uh, they're laying it out there all on the line every single game and, and playing competitive hockey, which I know our fans certainly appreciate. Yeah, of course, the atmosphere here is always great. Let's also talk about, though, you know, last year, the Kelly Cup, we were so close. What was the message that you had at the end of last season, and then how are things going as we progress through this season as far as that message? Yeah, I think we're building towards what we want to do. And, and number one, we're looking at our division, trying to win that again, uh, you know, setting ourselves up for home ice for the first two rounds of playoffs. And then, then we can start talking about Kelly Cup. You have to get through those first couple first. But with that said, our guys understand how passionate our fan base is, how much they show up for us, and what the end goal is. And that's where we're working towards. It's still another 20 games left in the regular season, and then uh, the playoffs start. Yeah, and even looking at the record, it doesn't seem like whether we're home or away, we're still doing just fine. But really talk about, you know, what do the guys say about, yeah, we're playing at home, and what do they say about the fan base? Well, I, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, there's a the fans are a big reason why there's a lot of people, a lot of players here. Uh, you know, they attract a lot of the high-end talent. The P, uh, players want to play in front of people, not empty buildings. And, uh, you know, 8,000 people here every single game. It's electric. It's a lot of fun. The, certainly the energy and the emotion that they bring to our team is fantastic. All right. Let's also kind of get back to business because I know that you're working. So how does the rest of the schedule look? Maybe some difficulties? Is it going to be, you know, an easy skate through? What are we, you know, what should we be keeping an eye for? Well, after this weekend, uh, there, we do have five games in a row on the road. Uh, but then we have nine of our final 10 games here at the Huntington Center. Um, so our schedule kind of sets up for us to have success, hopefully get some healthy bodies here, make sure everyone is ready to go once playoffs hit. But uh, I like the way our schedule sets up for the, the remainder of the season. Well, that's good. It, you know, get that help here at the end. You did talk about some, um, you know, healthy bodies. How are we doing as far as injuries? Should we be back to full strength here? Well, soon. I think soon. We have a defenseman uh, and two forwards out right now. Uh, but I think they're, they're, they're healing. They're mending, and you know, not to give up too much information on their injuries, but probably within the next couple of weeks, we should have everybody healthy, ready to go, which is a challenge for a lineup. But those are the big decisions I like to have. Yeah, and let's also real quick though talk about our goalie man. He's been holding it down for us. Yeah, both. I mean, John Lethman, uh, goalie of the month, uh, and then Sebastian Kosa as well. Both goaltenders have played extremely well for us since the new year. Uh, you know, and and it gives our team confidence to know that they're the the backbone of the team, and they're they're there for any type of mistakes. They're there to save pucks. Well, that's good. Yeah, we definitely want them to save the puck. Thank you, Dan, for joining us this morning. Of course, also, we do have pink in the rink this weekend. I'm not sure if you can tell that it's kind of pink out here. So you're going to want to head out. We have homestand Saturday and Sunday. So make sure you come on down, cheer on our fish. We have still a lot of work to do. Dan was just talking about that. But, Stephen, I don't think I'm going to be grabbing any skates. I'll just enjoy the ice here on my two feet. And I got to see it. Yeah. Can we get a pan down, we, Ryan? We, we, yes. have, we have to see it, oh, Diane. Can you show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's let's show we my need proof. feet here. We need proof yeah, sorry, that Diane is the on the fashionable, ice. But I wanted my All tennis right. shoes. On. Okay. Okay. I did it. There's evidence. Yep. I, but good. I'm not moving a lot. I'm not running out here. <laughs> She's literally going to scoot out to the <laughs> road. I did it, Stephen, just for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank she you, did. Diane. She did it. Good job, Diane. Thank you. <laughs>